Hi, this is Mike DeMichael, and this is another Save My Butt Windows tip. Today, we're going to talk about how to turn tea timer off in SpyBot Search and Destroy. Turns out that a lot of people, when they install SpyBot Search and Destroy, also install an optional uh, feature of SpyBot called tea timer which monitors uh, activity in the background and, and protects your registry and things like that. The problem is, is it really really slows computers down and um, unfortunately during the installation um, it's on by default and most people don't check it uncheck it should I say to uh, make sure it doesn't get installed because it's really not needed so that's what we're going to show you today okay let's get started now we need to open spybot search and destroy if you're using Windows XP all you need to do is double click on the icon on the desktop. If you're using Windows Vista or you're using Windows 7, we need to run the program as the administrator. And to do that, you just right click and then click on Run as Administrator. You'll get the user account control, which you can't see because it can't be recorded. If you do, just click Yes and SpyBot will start. We'll click OK to the legal stuff warning. And uh, just remember, if you're using Windows XP, you don't have to do that. Just double click on the icon. Now, to change settings in uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy, we need to run it as uh, in the advanced mode. To do that, up in the menu at the top, click on Mode, then click Advanced Mode. Uh, a warning will come up asking you if you really want to switch to advanced mode and we're going to click yes to that. Now, you may have noticed when we did that on the left hand side uh, in the lower left hand corner we now have three other menus that are collapsed. We want to choose the tools menu. When the tools menu opens we'll click resident and now we see that we have two check boxes the first one is for uh, the SD helper for Internet Explorer. We'll leave that alone. The second one is for T Timer. I want you to uncheck that. Now go back up to the top at the menu and click Mode again and click Default Mode. This will put it back in the default mode and uh, you can't change the settings again unless you go in as the administrator. Um, and you're done. That's it. T Timer is turned off you'll need to reboot your computer for those changes to take effect and um, then your machine will run much faster well that's it thanks for watching if you get a chance stop up to my website savemybutt.com bye